I'm very pleased to have been given the opportunity to say a few words at this important event. I'm only sorry that I can't be with you to do so. But after we fully defeat the coronavirus, I look forward to visiting China again and to meeting each of you in person. And when we do defeat the coronavirus, the next big challenge for the urban and rural construction industries will be to tackle climate change. China's commitment to become net zero by 2060 shows global leadership that inspires all of us around the planet. The design and construction industries must play a big part in helping to achieve this commitment. As well as creating low carbon buildings that use less energy and waste less energy, we must also create towns and cities where people have a genuine choice to walk, to cycle and to take public transport. We must not create places that are car dependent because the emissions from transport are a major contributor to humanity's carbon footprint. At Space Syntax, we have developed digital tools that help us to design master plans that are truly low carbon. My colleague, Mr. Liu Ning, will say more about these techniques in his presentation to you. So let me send you my best wishes from the United Kingdom to Minister Yao, to Mr. Wong, to Madam Ho, and to all of you at the Second China Urban and Rural Innovation and Development Conference.